there are two demons in you that are always winning. And Young doesn't, I don't know if Young talks about this. I don't know who the fuck, I'm making this up, okay? But it helped me this month. There's two demons in you right now. One is called the past. And the other is called the future. And you can't stop fantasizing about them. Even if you're working. And you're like getting old, man. So clearly like having this romance with these two is not working for you. Jonzerka, you have been deceived by evil. Oh, where does evil come from? Have been deceived by all Abrahamic religions were created and throughout history by the devil you think you oppose, but you worship it. The master of deception laughs and jerks off as it watches mankind fight and go to war over the ideologies it created. Open your eyes. Good thoughts, good words, good deeds. That is the only worthy of worship. It sounds a little gay. Instead, engage in idolatry and blasphemy. It whispers in your ear without a pause. Wake up. Yeah, well, apparently Carl Jung and all these geniuses disagree with you. And they're doing seances and black magic and had to invert the cross upside down to even have a spiritual charge. So go read their books. You don't have to. I didn't get fooled, bro. These guys got fooled. These guys who wrote our psychology textbooks, they're the ones doing this shit. I'm just bringing the information to you guys. I'm saying, how come I'm the only one to, uh, you know, like I don't remember Jordan Peterson talking about Carl Jung's occult, uh, his obsession with the cult. Uh, and another thing, um, to be an atheist, uh, being an atheist is worse than being an animal. Because an animal doesn't know it's retarded. But an atheist is convinced that he knows nothing. And they think this is like a platonic, oh, look, I'm Plato, I'm Plato level. I'm just a retard. It's like you look at geometric shapes and you look at a fucking tree and you go, oh, yeah, that's a cosmic accident. Atheism is a phase that uh, when confronted with the truth, usually puts a barrel to its head. It's very sad. It's a very sad thing to promote it. To promote atheism is to promote Nietzsche's book called The Antichrist. Nietzsche, a dude who worshipped a fucking pagan star god that would rape uh, its own family member. Like, that fucking retard. You remember him? Was it Bacchus or some shit? Ugh. Uh, two hours in. Okay, we're almost done. All right. Uh, yeah, we're almost done here. Yeah, was it Rites of Bacchus? The accuracy of gravity on our planet says a lot about the creator. Dude, are you stupid? 98% of gravity is dark matter. They say they don't know what 98% of the model is. And number two, gravity is the G in Freemasonry. Gravity is generative principle. Everything is generative principle to these people. Freud said, everything comes from sex. Something happens in your childhood, da-da-da-da. 
And what Freud was really referring to is the caduceus. The serpent's going up. That staff is a penis, dude. It's a phallic object. It's an obelisk. It's what the Egyptians worship. Why does the serpent have wings? Because sperm shoots. Sperm is the serpent. But John, I don't know if I want to live with this idea of a serpent. Bill Clinton lost the highest office you can have because he was horny. Every gamer on this website touches a little girl. Every politician loses their job because of horniness. Wars are started over horniness. Everything is about horniness. Billionaires, do they care about money? Yeah, sure, you're going to believe that because Dr. K and Destiny told you that. No, they don't. They don't care about money. They care about who has the hottest children. They trade kids on a fucking island. It's about horniness again. It's about the serpent again. It's always about this vital force. That's why you play better football when you're horny. That's why you do better on a test when you're horny. That's why Buddha and all these people put their foot on the serpent and the, every god is like conquering a serpent. Why? They're saying stop being horny. That you're, it's a pure, it's an alch, alchemical purification. Everything is about you being horny. Why you don't have a job is because you're horny. Why you smoke weed is because you're horny. Why you eat food is because you're horny. So you retain cum as much as possible? No, you do what the people who have heaven on earth do. Peace of mind. That fucking old couple down the street. You're supposed to have have a fucking marriage, you retard. It's not about it's not about reaching Brahmic splendor where you fuse masculine and feminine and become God. It's about getting married. You fucking retard. If it was about fusing the masculine and the feminine, why the fuck is the feminine inferior? It's not a fusion. That's black magic. It, sh it feels like that when you have psychic revelations because you go, oh, I've seen a, a taste of afterlife. I get how it's going to go. And You see, all of Carl Jung's homosexual experiences that he hid was with Freud because the most amount of psychic revelation you can have is having gay sex. I'm reading this. I'm not saying it. I think it sounds stupid as fuck, actually. I, for, I think for... Eight months, I was afraid to say it because I'm like, this is fiction. But here we have Aleister Crowley and all of the great geniuses of antiquity. Every Leonidas, Plato, Pythagoras, Socrates, Aristotle. This man's making the argument that all Gnosis comes from gay sex but it's a little different when you look deeper it's about it's these men ancient men of antiquity never had male partners they had little boys that it's something about that 
And I'm thinking to myself, like, huh. All geniuses throughout history have that in common. They're all pedos. Pythagoras. Plato. Aristotle. Napoleon. Marx. Hitler. Well, he's not a genius, but... You, you, oops, I'm kidding. But you see what I'm saying? Of course, Marx, he does the hidden hand. Anyone who does the hidden hand is a part of the in club. Do you know how you get into Yale Skull and Bones and Masonry? You have to stay in a coffin as they masturbate but really it's called um something with a cherry in the military that you have to get fucked in the ass so someone has shame over you and that's gonna be your handler and psychically you just listen better to them when they have that one over you because you're a man and it's uh with a woman it's very evil but there's still hope that she could, you know, like, break away from it. But with a man, when a man gets raped by another man, apparently this one is like, because a man is more aggressive and stuff, they become a very good psychic slave to commands. This is why it happens at the highest levels of military. This is why it happens with the Pope and all the little boys and stuff. It's a ritual. And what do you think my documentary... Look, listen, what do you think... Freemasonry is about like what you really think they have hidden secrets it's about generative principle it's not a coincidence that Jeffrey Epstein billionaire Pope zillionaire Hollywood billionaires politics billionaires they're all pedophiles on the same fucking list Wait, so it's not gay to fuck a man, but it's a ritual of control? Yeah, they wrote that um, some gay experiences have their own thing, but um, everyone who made it to the top and made billions, they're not just having fun or like, you know, oh, I like men. They're, uh, yeah, they're not doing it for uh, pleasure. It becomes pleasurable the more they do it. Because they get addicted to how how powerful it is, how how powerful it works. And you're like, well, what's the powers you get? It's really these psychic revelations where you write a better paper, you know, paint something better, da da da. And it's with a little boy that they do it. Right? They do it with a little boy. As a matter of fact, if you look deep into the uh WikiLeaks, the the little girls, they mention through allegory that they eat them. The boys, they keep using. Because the boys are more potent. Pubs usually live around 10 years in their vacancy. Why would they care if it was for the money when they're 80 years old? Dude. A pope is not pope by bloodline, you fucking retard. And he's not a pope by purity, like he, he brought some fucking crazy shit to it. He's a pope because he brings billionaires to his spell circle like Marina Abramovich. You really think some fat Serbian lady playing with pig's blood got a sponsorship with Microsoft? That's what you think happens in the real world? That's what you think? That you think religion is phony? You think... That sh you think that all those black magicians just get billion dollar sponsorships by accident, and the only thing they have in common is a fucking pentagram? The inventor of the rocket, Jack Parsons, said it was a cult. 
It was hidden knowledge. It wasn't science. Before science, it was called the science. That's what magic was. That's what alchemy was. There's two types of alchemy, inward, outward, just like magic. If you practice it inward and change your alchemical process, you can become a better person and attract better things to you. But it's not a fast track. If you start fucking with those around you, that's a fast track. But when you look at their magic, it's so peculiar. There's a, there's a, there's water, earth, air, and fire. And if you go through the water, you can make someone not be able to have kids. Because back then, I guess it mattered. Now we don't give a fuck. But again, it's generative principle. It's horniness again. A portal's open every time a rape happens. Where demons go to the rapist. And eventually, after helping him, they get his ass. And that's how it works. There's something about the this force, these archetypes that enter your psyche. That they always turn on you. I don't know what it is, but every fucking time they turn on you. Right? They can get you a billion dollars and then you get shot on the day you receive the check. They always do something really fucked up at the end of it. And these fucking retards never see it coming. Why? Because they're actually more powerful than the demons in their sorcerer mode. It's just that they can't stay in that mode because it's being fed through their their life force. So eventually, that third eye starts to weaken. And then they start to slip and they get old and they, oh, I don't know, I don't know. And then the demons start getting stronger. They go, look, man, we've been in your body a while. But what do you think is happening when uh, when an Egyptian pharaoh is raping a little boy? You, you, you didn't learn this in school that the uh, Egyptians only raped? You didn't learn that they like practiced blood magic and eating flesh of their own family members? Why don't you learn that in school? (laughs) See, the Greeks said the Egyptians are too demonic. We want to adopt their gods, their star gods, but we don't want them to be beastly anymore. We want them to be beautiful. And so they switched from eating flesh of the humans do they switch to something like on their pottery? They have sex with sheep and goat. And I guess this is their other ritual. But why? what is this obsession with beasts and the zodiac? That's the beast system is the zodiac above, bro. The stars are being casted by the fucking magicians, dude. The, star, the planets are the attributes of God. And as soon as one of those stars say to you, hey man, you can be just like God. You could be like Mars. You could be perfect and powerful. You could be like an attribute of God. We'll call you Mars. As soon as you bite from that star, that cosmic tree, well, now you're a Freemason. And you've reached psychic revelation. But, but you're promised a fake immortality. They didn't die of disease before 30. You fucking buy... You believe COVID as well? Dude, they levitated pyramids through resonance and vibration. They knew a certain shape. Put an object over another object, depending on uh, what the shape is, it can change the vibration of the other object. 
how the fuck did they know that? So they'd use platonic solids to change the fabric of reality because the shape, we get platonic solids. It, they have faces, they're earth world. And they made the pyramids that large because there's grid lines going through the world. and Through us and under us, these are electric grid lines that people would build churches on, temples. You can't just build a temple anywhere. That's not how stonemasons build temples, you fucking idiot. There are ley lines, there are points on earth that line up with stars so they can be solar charged. But you believe sunlight makes you healthy. Why not the stars and the moon, you fucking retard? You understand? John Zergo, why would Jesus build a church and then let it be occupied by Satanists to deceive? Yeah, uh, it's called free will, stupid bitch. All right, uh, let's see. I think you atheists really got to explore the question of the only world that's scarier than a world without God is a world where you understand God. <laughs> Imagine an ant understanding a human. You fucking stupid. What? Why would you ever want to go into that position? That's why we bridge it with faith, you fucking retard. If you fucking understood God, that's like... Bro, that's like I join karate class and I go to the black belt. Yo, I understand how to do everything. I get how you did it. I get how you got there, bro. I can, I can see myself get... You're a fucking retard. Is the Vatican Pope a deception by the Masons? Masonry is just an umbrella, right? The highest order is the Jesuit order. Those guys don't fuck around. Like, they're 80% of the CIA, and their oath is way bloodier. Well, I think the Masons got a... Yeah, it's pretty much the same shit. It's identical to a witchcraft oath. It's kind of, like, spooky. Why all these ancient religions were, like, panicking of witchcraft? Bro, our parents told us our parents and our teachers told us it's because they were superstitious. <laughs> so is, is everyone, every billionaire on Epstein's island superstitious or are they worshipping Moloch? Are you fucking joking me? It's ridiculous, man. You know, the more I go through, the more I want, like, the more I go through this project, the more I realize it's not invisible, bro. Like, they're doing it in front of us. <laughs> like, there's people at, there's regular people at parties that it turns out that they, like, touch unconscious girls and blah, blah, blah. Then there's people who rape at parties and blame it on the alcohol. But you got to ask yourself, right? If you already know people like that in your neighborhood, who the fuck is at the competitive top and what are they up to? You know, if they're raping here for free, well, imagine where they're going to lose billions. How evil are they getting? Where they get killed for that kind of money. We're at the top. It's a mafia game. It's not just them afraid of us pitchforking them. You understand? Yeah, they used to burn witches and they used to go after masons hard. I kind of like that Satanists are in the um, Vatican because really it's, it makes me closer to my Bible, right? It's like, thanks for that's a prediction. Thank you, bro. We already know that. Oh, you guys have all the wealth of the world? Yeah, okay, we know that. Oh, you guys don't have your own powers? You just mirror and invert? Okay, we know that. Dude, all black magic rituals have to be done 
in Christ's name. It's so weird. It's like actually cringe. It's like, bro, make up your own star. Do something. You know, like they just invert stars and do weird shit. Where will you not find Satanists? Uh, in positions uh, where they lack gnosis, knowledge, and power, right? In more primitive positions like farms and shit. Because when the soul is primitive, it's actually more pure, right? Like when you were a child, you weren't thinking of fucking Ashley. You were just a child. You were primitive. You were closer to God, right? Not that God would be dumb, but primitive I'd mean as in it would be anything that's divided from God is way more primitive than going towards. So, you know, for example, if you become very smart and you finish a lot of school, you end up as an atheist. That's knowledge. So you go your whole life jealous of some fucking hillbilly who has peace of mind, a wife with a fat ass, and he just like looks like he's always smiling. And you see people who have money like Carl Jung and these guys, they're always losing their mind trying not to kill themselves because they're like, why can't I achieve peace of mind? I find myself asking that so often where I go, is this peace of mind? I swear I felt something better or something better. You know, and then, you know, it's peace of mind if you're not trying, but you're aware of it. And if you're trying to look for it, you go, oh, this is uh, just a chill moment, but it's not all the way there. And I'm an angry guy, so I need to master this this year or else. There's nothing else to master. When you have peace of mind, you can finally enjoy a sandwich again. <clears throat> no in the documentary i'm actually thinking i'm going to keep all the books and uh hidden and i'll just like upload them to a patreon right like i don't i don't want everyone to to go through my shit you know how boring it would be if i'm making another project if i really like to do this stuff and someone's doing the same thing as me and i go bro he's already covered that topic now i just wasted four hours and his is better and it's like i kind of want to watch his now it's like I'll just release it to uh, those ones who are close to me, who like get close to me, and they go, "Hey, man, I just need to know." But uh, no, I spent years just telling people the stuff I read, and it turns out nobody was listening. Now I don't give a fuck. Now I'm like, "Fuck you, <laughs> bro." No one is stealing your shit. I don't know, man. There's like. There's this thing that happens where when I do it, it's cool. But when like my buddies do it, it seems like it's forced. And I'm like looking at them like you're kind of talking about flat earth like a retard. Stop doing that. You're making my side look bad. But if I get my project done, I don't really care. Oh, Inky, you don't need to know because you're like very... uh. A woman and so you could actually do some you could fall for those kind of uh dark arts do you remember the moment you lost your innocence yeah that was 20 20 years old but no i you you're talking about like uh through uh just a moment where i felt like the grow up feeling right where it's like oh the world's not sunshine and rainbows yes i remember it was Oh my God, dude, I have a good one. In grade nine, we we're walking home from school with some girls and stuff like that. And I was just like happy there's girls and blah, blah, blah. I'm like pretending to be cool. And my brother and friends were all laughing. And, you know, I'm, you know, high school is a terrifying time for me in the first two years. For some reason, it was cold. It was like, I felt like everyone knew what they were doing except me. Like they knew how to sit, they knew how to smile, they knew how to, like they've done it before. And I felt so weird, dude. Like, I felt like, did you guys all go to the same school together? Like, I feel left the fuck out. And 
yo, that was weird for high school, man. And then, you know, the older you get in high school, the more you realize nobody around you has it together. So you feel better. And you're like, oh, these guys are stupid as fuck. But we're walking home. And the grade nine, I guess, is late. But for me, it's early. Uh, Eden just says as a joke to one of the girls or to no to a younger kid. Right. And the kid's like, what do you guys learn in grade nine or something like that? Right. They're talking about that shit. He says, yeah, for our next pro Eden says, yeah, for our next project, we all got to take home a girl and have sex with her. And he looked at the shoes and everyone started laughing. And because he didn't laugh, Eden usually giggles and stuff. He didn't laugh. Uh, my stomach dropped and I stopped walking and they kept walking ahead without me. And I felt the coldest sensation I've ever felt, man. Like chills, like frozen um, in fear of like, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I don't want to be with the girl and I don't want to do this project. And I knew something about high school was ominous. I knew there was a ritual. It was like, it was like I was predicting that, oh, grade eight, grade nine, something has to happen in high school. Like something, maybe you get in a fight, maybe, but I knew something of shame is going to happen. And it's not like I was thinking, I was thinking of a cute girl too, but the, I've never felt that level of fear. And all my buddies in Eden are laughing and they're like going home to watch porn. And all they did was talk about porn. And I'd just pretend like I know. You know, I was like, I just pretended. Uh, yeah. So that was the first time I felt like real chills. And then after it was like, I have never fat. It was like a year and a half, two years, maybe. Yeah, two years after my um, buddies were happy. Well, my buddies were having years before. But two years, I was like two years late. And they kept talking about fapping and I felt left out for two years. Like I'm not a man, like I'm a little boy and blah, blah, blah. And uh, I liked watching the porn and I'd get excited, but I would like just go back to like my room or whatever. And then like one day I tried it and it was like a two minute video. And I'm like, I don't know how to do this. Like I've never touched myself before or anything. Like back in those days, I used to put one leg over the other. Like I have a pussy and it would just feel good. And I'd be like, oh, <laughs> yeah. And uh, I was too afraid to touch my, um, the serpent. I was really afraid. I was like, I don't know what I'm doing, but I know I'm supposed to, I'm hot and I'm supposed to be touching. So I'll just touch the meat on top of the penis that connects the caucus, whatever. And I just started fingering it like a button. <laughs> I just fingered it and, uh, yeah, it's like um, it was like building, building, and then that was the first uh, explosion of lightning, Lucifer, right in down into my spine. And I'm not saying it came down my um, spinal column. I'm saying it felt like it came down from the clouds. The that was the most magnetic, not in a good way. Magnetic, like I was the rod the most lightning I've ever felt the biggest sensation of fear like I'm going through the portal like I'm about to see God pupils fully dilated arms legs shaking head completely glowing fucking right down to the uh, solar plexus right in the middle of my body and then um, upper half of my body and head exploding in euphoria not the good kind it's good if you've had it before but if you've had it for the first time you feel like you got struck by fucking lightning and then the hot, the biggest sensation on the dick as well at the same time and it came downwards and flooded my face you know like and it was um the worst feeling i've ever felt the highest level of shame I've felt shame, but I've never felt shame. I've never felt shame through lightning. Like shame usually comes like, you know, it's like water touching your feet gets deeper. And then your mom says, hey, this is like lightning strike of shame. And I remember just frozen staring and the video is over. It was like two minutes on 89.com. I was just frozen and I was like, I'm not going to lie to you. 
first thought was I'm never doing that again and that I got raped. Um, not by like a force or anything, like I raped myself. Like I didn't want to actually do that. And I suppressed the fuck out of this for 10 years. You know, I never spoke about it. Uh, I didn't even know it happened until like, you know, I started doing better in life and I started to like open, you know, open up those memories. But uh, I remember saying to myself, no, no, I have to do that again because everyone masturbates and I have to be like the boys in school. and You know, that Naruto complex. Anyways, I said, I'll just schedule it that I'll do it three weeks from now or four weeks from now. And then I don't think I did it for another like three months. Like I was like um, shook, traumatized, completely shook and traumatized. And... I knew it was the last day I can ever have as who I was. Like, I knew exactly what happened. I knew exactly what I signed up for, that now the portal of looking at girls in my classroom is going to, like, really open in my pupils, and I'm going to start seeing them more. And... Yeah, never, it didn't, and you know, for like the first year, I never even touched my penis when I did it. I was like, for some reason, it would work without doing that. And in my head, I was like, why do my buddies love to do this? You know, I felt really alien. Like, dude, they're still laughing and talking about what they watch. And, and then the stuff they were watching was really terrifying me. Because I could see in their face when they'd show me porn, I'd be like, Dude, I can see some trauma in your eyes. And they go, yeah, I know, but eventually it gets hot. And I'm like, mm, I don't know about this. And we had this weird thing where I'm not going to lie to you. The greatest bond I've ever felt in my life was around these times. Because this is Halo 3 and Gears of War. And Halo 3 with four buddies who are skipping class to go to Sand Trap. In a house that's completely empty because someone's parents is moving and we just pulled some fucking mattresses and shit. We would play Halo for 24 hours a day in a dark room while we had a TV screen next to us playing nonstop porn for 24 hours because we can't do it at our homes. So four or five of us would just, one of us would always look into the portal when we weren't like, when the fifth guy couldn't play. And we just take turns, but nobody was fapping. We just kept it on. We always laughed at the girl, called her a whore, a bitch, that she belongs in the kitchen. We were very, very violent with our words against women in grade eight. We hated women in grade eight. When I say hated, I mean like we used to grab eggs uh, one lady make it, made us pick up some trash, which honestly, if someone threw trash on my yard, I think I'd fight a child in a video game. But some lady made us pick up trash one time. She's like, you, you left your Doritos bag there. And I picked it up and I felt the shame when I, we're, we're walking home through school. I look at Hank, Poof, Mo, E. And I look at them and I'm like, I'll pick it up. And they're looking at me like, you're a bitch, bro. You're a bitch. But they can't say it out loud because they're bitches too. And so I pick it up, and then every single night for the next four months, we egg the shit out of her house horribly, 3 a.m. every single time they got into bed for six months straight. And since they lived next to a schoolyard that has a big slope down, they'd have to run down the slope to even catch us. So they they can't even come out the gate. And I just remember thinking, I'm like, those people have kids and shit. And then we got really addicted to shooting fireworks and roaming candles in people's houses uh, by the windows. Uh, and egging was our thing, you know, like the head of our football team fucked with me. And I just said in the group chat, I'm like, hey, man, I got disrespected in front of everyone. And then, uh, you know, the group chat would say, then we have to do it. And it was weird because like when, the, when my buddies would get disrespected, everyone would run. They would sprint to who is the most aggressive to prove themselves. So if Hank got fucked with, 
then we used to break into fucking um uh we used to break the small locks and we're never thieves but we used to anyone who fucked with one of our homies middle class we used to break the lock throw everything in their locker everywhere and then we just be laughing when they're cleaning it up in front of everyone like the shame ritual uh, one time we sprayed and uh, four cans of Axe in one hallway for 45-minute break. And we're like, we're thinking it's funny because like we're suffering too. Like it smells like shit. But adults have different senses. So the teachers started panicking and called 911 and they were choking on it and they couldn't handle it. And they were thinking like, Why, what, who would do this? Um, we used, we used to every year, me and my buddies, we were, we're the, probably the worst kids in school. We used to get illegal lockers, the cool guy lockers. So no one could fuck with us next to the bathroom. And then we'd put a sign on the bathroom that says broken toilet overflowing. And we just take off the sign when the teachers are going to come by. So we had our own bathroom full, fully loaded, perfect pure pure bathroom that like maybe one kid would use because it's like in in a corner and in that bathroom we'd smoke fucking weed sometimes and then we get anxiety and say dude i have anxiety bro call 911 and we'd be like no bro because then we got to tell our parents just hang in there hang in there and then that's the first time i felt real friendship because when my buddies who were so violent and vicious and mean when they looked in my eyes, they were actually comrades. You know, you're going to be good, man. You are you would be spooked thinking someone that violent can be that chill. You know what I mean? But we had like a rule where we're super good to each other, right? Like a wolves. And it was an unspoken rule, but if someone broke it, everyone would shame that guy. Like if we all skipped class and one guy didn't come, we would shame him into oblivion. It would be his wedding day. We'd be like, yeah, but you didn't come. So it, no one wanted to be a part of that, like, guilt. So we'd, like, fail some classes together and shit. Um, but we weren't popular. We weren't popular, but the popular kids weren't allowed to talk shit because they're like, oh, these guys actually fight. Like, they have, like, some inferiority complexes. So the first time I felt extreme shame was being told that we have a test where we have to lose our innocence to a girl. I was in grade nine, grade 10 fapping my first time. And then I felt that, you know, I saw the seal of Solomon and, and then I started liking fapping a year later where I was doing it a lot, but there was always this feeling when I finished, there was always this feeling of like, please tell me what am I doing? And why? Because if it's just to repopulate, that's not enough, bro. So grade 11, 12, I would spend a lot of time in a dark room obsessing over the Ill order of the Illuminati, the cringiest conspiracy of all time. And I started seeing the signs and symbols everywhere in those freaky YouTube videos. And then... And to me, I was like, a symbol's all I need, right? Because a symbol's never lied to me. Like, for example, um, here. Let me show you something. Uh. Yo, I'm rambling, bro. Yeah. Okay, so um what have we got here? We've got the eye of Horus, peanut gland, whatever the fuck. But now this symbol is really interesting to me, right? Because 
it penetrates my psyche in a way where it's different from regular people because I actually am good with the pen. I can draw. I can check check my shit out, right? Let me show you my shit. I know I'm, a, I'm, I'm not a smart guy, but I know I can decipher these symbols easily and not by reading. I can ponder. And what's interesting about that Eye of Horus is that ominous feeling you have about it do you have an ominous feeling or am I just being paranoid? Yeah, it's it's got to be in all of us that there's something off about that. And there's something off about the Egyptians too where it's like, dude they don't tell us what those guys got up to this is very epstein like when you read about it well you can't read about it you have to actually discover it through their fucking poetry but that eye that third eye that you unlock right that solar force that they're tempting you with that thing that can bring you jupiterian type of riches and Right? Like uh, Manny P. Hall said, Lucifer bring you all the treasures of the world for that one sacrifice. And sometimes it is just your soul. But that seat of the soul, temple of soul of man, Saul of man, Solomon, solo man, that eye of Horus, that cosmic consciousness, that genius re revelation state, it's coming to you as a as a tempter because that eye is not actually the third eye that eye can that level of psychic knowledge can only be achieved by understanding what that eye really means and that eye is the anus Yeah. The eye is the anus that you can only receive psychic revelation if you do an anal ritual with a child. Just like Leonidas, Plato, Pythagoras. Just like all geniuses of antiquity just like everyone in history. That's why they had those kind of pyramids, those kind of societies. That's the level of knowledge they had. You don't believe me? It's right here. It's right here. Do you see the sun, Horus, in the middle, where the G usually is? Do you see how the sun rises by the blazing star? The blazing star is tempting you to try it to try and rape a child you can't believe what you're hearing because alex jones would never say this live because this is not stuff you 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 don't want these guys on your back for this one i'm glad i'm a smaller channel why is the apron here? It represents purity. The eyeball is the third eye, the generative principle. What is generative principle? Sperm. The serpent that coils down your spine. What is the ritual you do to become 
a pharaoh? What is the ritual you do to enter skull and bones? What is the ritual you do to enter the stonemasons, the druids, the hermetics, even the Rosicrucians for a lot of them? There's good ones, but it's always been about yin and yang, solar, lunar, red pill, blue pill. They tempt you with this stuff. Why? There's no real choice, dude. If you go with the cold force, the Saturnian lunar force, the satanic, the darkness, the stars and the moon, which is the horns, horns of Baal, the bull. If you go with the moon, you're rabid. But if you go with the sun, you're a genius who helps everyone and blah, 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 but you did it through raping a child. Why did the Romans rape children? Everyone that that TV makes you worship was a pedo. There's a fucking retard in my chat that said, how does that give you knowledge? Are you fucking retarded? There's never been a straight philosopher in history. There's never been a straight scientist in history. There's never been a straight mathematician in history. It's psychic knowledge through inversion. When you invert generative principle. When you invert the path of God. Are you fucking ret Are you not keeping up? You can believe they do Epstein Island, but you can't believe this? You fucking idiot. Yeah, but you thought of this without it? Thought of what? No, I didn't even believe this stuff till I finished their books. And in none of their books do they say it out loud. I think the only people who are honest about it were Skull and Bones, but they took back whatever they said and shit. And Skull and Bones is just violent. They're just fucked up, so they don't care, I guess. You understand? Freud, Young. I mean, I got gay friends, and they told me, yeah, it's black magic. I was like, what the fuck? It's like, what the fuck are you doing with kids? Uh, I'm kidding. John, had you become gay to understand it? He sacrificed himself for us. No, no, dude, you're not funny. What's your end goal with this research? Um, My end goal with this research is I don't want to be you. I don't want to be Jordan Peterson who says, well, you know, Young talks about the archetypes, but he won't talk about his homosexual experience or how, yo, how come nobody on the fucking internet exposed Carl Young for um taking like young women he took a, think of this, a woman, the creature that never kills themselves. It's always men who do it. He got his patient to kill herself with a fucking gun to her head so he can look at the face she'd make when she dies to see if she regretted or not. And he, he was astonished to find out she regretted it, that it wasn't the right move. And he writes about it, and and nobody, uh, he writes about it, and everyone's like, yeah, that's unfortunate that happened to your patient. Dude, women don't kill themselves, bro. He got her to do that. Because he was, he said when he was a kid, he just did seances until he got caught. Then the, the fucking table kept breaking, and his mom knew what it was, and she was like really coping because, you know, Christian family and stuff. And then he said that, something always spoke to him and that he has to quit his job to learn about black magic in Egypt and India. And he fucking... Let me just play it. Should I just play it, dude? I hate when it's like nobody believes me and it's like, you guys are just fucking... You know you're burning in hell, chat, man. Every time you say I'm lying, you know you're burning in hell. <clears throat> Is 
it's weird that nobody knows this about the geniuses of our time. When you research someone, if you want to research a genius throughout history, stop looking at their work and look at their... I didn't read Manny P. Hall that much until I said, Black Magic? I don't buy this shit. And then I said, Manny P. Hall? How did he die? And then I knew. And I went and read all of his books. And I said, okay, now I believe this. That's how simple it was. You know, just snap switched. You got to just look in their life and see what's happening to them. Like, what are they What are they conjuring? <clears throat> um, yeah, Hitler talked about some uh, homosexual ba- black magic with kids. But uh, hold on. Oh, this guru guy is killing me. Um, Sigma Freud, the greatest psychologist of all time, he wrote about sex and how it's everything. Generative principle, again, it's always back to sex. You think this stream just screams pedos every time? For no reason, like to be funny, you're ruled by the serpent. You understand? Hold on. Tune and developed into a personal friendship. And what sort of man was Freud? Well, he was a complicated nature, you know. He, he, I liked him very much. And, but I soon discovered that when he had thought something, then it was settled. While I was doubting all along the line. And uh, it, it was impossible to discuss something really a form. You know, he had no uh, philosophical education, particularly, uh, you see, I was studying Kant, and uh, I was steeped in it, and, uh, and that was far from Freud. So, uh, from the very beginning, there was a discrepancy. Did you, in fact, grow apart later? Partly because of a difference in temperamental approach to experiment and proof and so on. Well, of course, there is always a temperamental difference. Um, and uh, his approach was uh, naturally different from mine because his personality was different from mine. That led me in, into my later investigation of psychological types. There are uh, definite attitudes. Uh, it's pretty genius. I like that, but uh, you can tell he's a, um, you can tell he's practicing to sound straight and look straight. Look at him. He's, he's really good at pretending to be straight. Am I the only one seeing it? Like you could tell he's like trained himself. He said he trained himself to uh, uh, fix some problems he has with his own mind and, but, but he, just watch. You'll see it. Uh, some people are doing it in this way, and other people are doing it in the other typical way. And there were such differences between myself and Freud, too. Do you consider that Freud's standard of proof and experimentation was less high than your own? Well, I, uh, you see, that is uh, an evaluation uh, I'm not competent of. Uh, Dude, these people are so funny, man. These people are so funny that they try to destroy Freud's career for saying everything is about your penis because they want only the masons on the top to understand magic and vital principle and all that. They cannot let us have it. They gave us biology instead. And it's like, dude... You mean the Egyptians worship that serpent and now Freud does too? The f-
fuck? Do you want to see Carl Jung uh, demonic possession? This is creepy as fuck. I've been I've been getting good shit, man. Uh, I am not my own history or my uh, historiographer. I uh, in with reference to certain results, uh, I think uh, my method has uh, its merits. Tell me, did Freud himself ever analyze you? Uh, yeah, oh yes, I had, uh, submitted quite a lot of my. They had sex together. Look at his face. Dreams to him, and so did he. And he to you. Yes. Oh yes. yes. By the way, if you can't understand what I'm saying, here's what I'm saying. Back then, when people just had money and a bunch of time to master their craft and stuff like that, yeah, those guys were always fucking everything. You know what I mean? That's just how it was. Um, what, do you remember now, at this distance of time, what were the significant features of Freud's dreams that you noted at the time? Well, that is rather indiscreet to ask. You know, I have, there is such a thing as a professional secret. He's been dead these uh, many years. Uh, I, yeah, yes, but uh, uh, these uh, regards last longer than life. I prefer not to talk about it. Well, may I ask you something? All these guys did back then is hi everyone want to work with them. They they would hire patients that were attractive, young girls, blah blah blah, and they put them in hypnotic spells, black magic, and they called it psychology. And all they did is ever get their dick sucked by everyone. And it, it was like a known thing that these guys are like, these are the players. They're not just, they're like dirty little psychologists that help you out. They'll fix your problems, but it's like a, and they like fuck the people in a hypnotic state and the hypnotic state, um, MK ultra, right? And the hypnotic state, um, uh, initiate or whatever you want to call it. They clean up the mess themselves before they come back to it. So. They didn't even have trouble cleaning up messes and stuff like that. And it was always out of knowledge, curiosity. Like, what what happens if I uh, put her deeper into this subconscious? What happens if I... Right? And you got to remember, the moment a man, this demonic, who's demonically charged, he even talks about it, uh, seeing very fucked up... He, all he did is talk about ghosts. He wrote five black books, bro. Uh, he says... I mean, like, imagine how tempted this guy is when he has, like, a, a beautiful girl right there doing whatever the fuck he says. And he knows that it's not just... Like, magic is really working off someone's trauma, right? It's like ping pong off their trauma. And that's all it is, right? If you want to see um, the mirrored versions of you, you go through the traumas, the shattered mirrors and all that. And... Uh, Sometimes you can bring out those glass shards, you know, and fuck up your life here. And these guys mastered this. But Young didn't master psychology. He quit psychology to learn witchcraft. It's just called alchemy. They changed the fucking word. But in the Bible, it says don't fucking do this shit to someone. You know, don't fucking do it. Because, you know, you might help a hundred of them. But eventually you'll get curious enough to say, hey, my patient is under a deep hypnotic spell. And I'll, I can get away with it. And a lot of guys are fucked up like that. But guys who see themselves like God, right? These powerful guys. To be the best. This is what it takes, bro. Like, it sounds like I'm reaching until I show you black magic. Then, then you'll be like, oh, Carl Jung is actually a fucking magician. And it's kind of sad that, like... You know, I thought growing up I'd get into, like... Uh, mechanics and engineering and stuff. i had no idea that all that stuff we learned in school is useless and then these guys are just bending invisible forces of nature to destroy our lives while they benefit that's crazy something else then which perhaps is also indiscreet is it true that you have a very large number of letters which you exchanged with freud which are still unpublished yes when are they going to be published well uh not uh, during my lifetime. 
you ha would have no objection to them being published after your life. Oh, no, not at all. Because they are probably of great historical importance. Oh, I don't think so. Then it, wh why have you not published them so far? Because they were not important to me I enough. I see no particular importance in, uh, in them. They are concerned with personal matters? Well, partially. Uh, but I wouldn't care to, to, to publish them. Well, now, can we move on to the time when you did eventually uh, part company with Freud? Uh, it was partly, I think, with the publication of your book, The Psychology of the Unconscious. Is that correct? That is... That is what was the real cause. Is what I'm saying making sense to you, or do we have to go deeper? What's an Oculus chat? Why does Marina Abramovich, in a black spell circle, why does she want us to be wearing a VR headset? What does an Oculus even mean? Huh. Around or I like opening or design. Such as a circular window or an opening at the apex of the dome. They own gaming, dude. That's their Saturnian cube worship. They worship the cube, right? Here's your game cube. Right. Here's your black game cube. What what is the uh what is their symbol? Generative principle with the cube inside. It's reaching cuz it worked on you. It worked on me when I was young. So what does the symbol of the snake eating itself mean? It means inf it it means infinity, and but again, it's another anus thing. Because remember, the serpent is the only the, to fuse male and female. Really means when the serpent opens its mouth, it's female vagina, and the tail is the male, and the fusion of that is to reach God consciousness. Because you know, is God man? Is God woman? These guys say, hey, you can be God. You can have Im immortality through the practice of Druidic stone masonry. And the cube is just a hexagon, right? It's a hex. It's a hex, and it's really, when you look closer, you're like, what do you mean by all this? Which hex is it? It's the hex of masculine, male and female. Fused seal. The fuck is this? Let's do seal of Solomon. And who is Solomon, chat? Right? Why do Masons, why do they stop here? Because, look, dude, just focus, man. He had the most money anyone's ever have in history. Trillions, bro. The richest person in history that used demons to build a fucking temple. He even says it. Just like Young. Well, now, before you... Oh, I mean the, the, the final course. <laughs> because it had a long preparation. You know, from the beginning, I had a reservatio mentalis. I couldn't. Every time you see the eye, it means the anus. They promise you the knowledge if they get to rape you. Do you understand? They get, You can bite from the fruit of Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus. You can bite. You can do it, man. But you have to go through that temple initiation that you get raped, you're in pain, you're in darkness, and then you see the light. 
and that light is really they're getting you psychically um, charged into the highest level of trauma and th that's why if they are skull and bones men who really need to harness real energy they put on goat heads and cut you and scream and torture you and they try and really shatter your mind but why would they want to rape everyone in their clan because when you rape someone and traumatize them and shatter their mind they go into a dissociative state in the tomb they go into a dissociative state meaning you can say anything to them you can say anything to them and they'll listen because they're in a dissociative state the the psyche cannot handle that level of trauma that's why the psyche goes into a primitive childlike form where it's like i'm just going to pretend i'm not here i'm playing with rabbits i'm in the rabbit hole blah 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 but that's why soldiers get raped at the highest level of navy seals you understand like look at this fucking retard in chat he says yeah this is comedy bro this is your bad shit thomas your name thomas raw because you've you've been through this ritual you got fucked raw listen to me guys if you think i'm crazy how did i read 800 fucking pages of their their pope's book and i came to this conclusion do you think that i just made it up are you fucking retarded are you stupid you think i read 800 pages and i just i had a vision that they're rapists oh yeah that just sounds cooler like oh uh, yeah no it's a better villain story and what do you are you fucking retarded is are your parents retarded like thomas google skull and bones they say the rape ritual that one's not even a secret the fuck is wrong with you hey john you're crazy is epstein crazy as well that's who you run cover for in mk ultra experiments in mk ultra experiments you cannot have a child soldier if they are not traumatized that's why the u.s military gets refugees you are not the first person who is trying to expose the cult. Are you fucking stupid? Are you fucking stupid? Nobody can even debate destiny. You think people can actually understand this information? Of course it takes me. When people expose the cult, they go, Oh yeah, it's a spell circle. I drew a star. You understand? <clears throat> You literally support Trump, who's a Satanist. Discord Femboy is your name? What the fuck? Who are you? Discord Femboy. Like, I'm sorry if I offended you. I, I'm reading in this book that says they're doing this ritual, and this guy's mad because he has a boyfriend in chat. Lumi, please tell me, is it okay for me to read this stuff to chat, or do they think I'm Hitler? It's fucking ridiculous, man. I got gay buddies telling me, yo, this shit's interesting, bro. I got gay buddies who tell me, yeah, no, I, I, I knew the real society with Hitler was like gay and shit. And I'm like, no, you're missing the secret ingredient is like children, bro. That's why Crowley said 11 year old is 11 year old boy. High in innocence and perfect intelligence. Very intelligent boy is the highest level for the ritual. You see, if you want your child to listen to you, you just cut your child's puppy's head off in front of him when he's four years old. And your child is psychically shattered and attached to you for the rest of the, your life. And remember, parents didn't do this to children because they hated them. In, they were taught that the child will piss away the family's wealth. And they, their family will lose billions if they don't fall in line and do exactly what they're told. Also, the child will tell that the parents do weird rituals and the, the child will tell good people who are going to 
So they get very afraid. They're like, how do I make it so nobody gives out the secrets? It's simple. Just make nobody know that there is anything. I mean, look how simple it is, all right? L look how simple it is, okay? There's a guy named Chat, right? Chat has a big mouth. He tells everyone. So if, if Zerka does a ritual in front of Chat, Chat's going to tell the police. But if Zerka shatters Chat's mind as a child... then even if the police have all the evidence in the world against me, he cannot speak up. He cannot. Those people who say, I'm, um, I'm going to stand up to my rapist. Yeah, that can't happen when it's a Satanist who is screaming, cutting, bleeding. They're doing everything they can to wipe out the mind. Right. This is not like a drunk uh, rape where it's like uh, the guy, you know, goes to jail. So this is like a cult thing where the head of the police is always a fucking Mason and has to look the other way on an island, bro, where there's no police. So when you hear about all these when you hear about all these cults, you never ask yourself, what's the real information that Alex Jones and them don't tell you about? It's generative principle. It's sex. It's the fucking psyche, the sexual psyche that Freud obsessed over, that they ruined his work over it. Yeah, Disney... <clears throat> okay here let me let me just make this way easier i'm just gonna skip to the good shit and, uh, agree with uh, quite a number of his uh, ideas which ones in particular well uh, chiefly his purely personal approach and his disregard of uh, the historical conditions of man you see, we depend largely upon our history. Why is he saying that? Because Freud said the cult is real and, oh, I don't know if I want to dabble in. This guy who fucking destroys Freud, right? He's like considered God tier. This guy quit psychology to go to fucking Egypt. That's his last memory is something about a serpent. And he's going to talk about it soon. Uh... We are shaped through education, through the influence of the parents, which are by no means always personal. They were prejudiced or they were influenced by historical ideas or what I call dominance. And, uh, and that is uh, a most decisive factor in psychology. And we are not of today or of yesterday. We are of an immense age. Was it not partly your observation, your clinical observation, of psychotic cases which led you to differ from Freud on this? It was. Focus now, okay? Focus. If the guy who gets the job at Chuck E. Cheese is a pedophile, if guys who work with children are always fucking pedos, who the fuck wants to work with uh, schizophrenics and do experiments, hypnotic experiments with them? Only fucking Frankenstein's... Like, who the fuck, whose heart goes to this kind of work, this kind of witchcraft? And he's like a cute old man and shit, so you're like, oh, I don't know, John, he seems kind of innocent. Keep watching, bitch. That's partially my experience with, with uh, schizophrenic patients that uh, led me uh, to the idea of certain general historical conditions. Is there any one case that you can now look back on and feel that perhaps it was the turning point of your thought? Oh, yes. Uh, I, I made quite a number of experiences of that sort, and I went uh, even to Washington to uh, study uh, Negroes at the psychiatric clinic there in order to find out whether they have the same type of dreams as we have. Uh, and uh, these experiences and others led me then to the hypothesis 
that there is an impersonal stratum in our psyche. Are you missing Christianity yet? Is this guy not a fucking witch doctor? Isn't this guy a fucking freak? Am I crazy? And uh, I can tell you an example. We had a, pa uh, a patient uh, in the ward. He was quiet, but uh, completely dissociated, uh, schizophrenic. And he was uh, in the clinic already for over 20 years. He had come into the clinic as a matter of fact, uh, being a young man, uh, a little clerk, and, uh, and did no particular education. And once, I came into the war and, and he was obviously excited and called to me, took me by the label of my coat and led me to the window uh, and said, Doctor, now, now you must see. Uh, now look at it. Look up at the sun uh, and see uh, how it moves. You see, you must move your head too like this and then you will see the, uh, the follows of the sun. And, uh, you know, that's the origin of the wind. And you see how the sun moves as you move your head from one side to the other. Now, of course, I didn't understand it at all. I thought, oh, there you are. He's just crazy. Uh, and, but that case remained in my mind. And four years later, uh, I uh, came across uh, a paper written by the German um, historian uh, e. Dietrich, um, who had a, a yeah. It's it's kind of it's kind of. Let's go to his. Uh, look at this one: memories, dreams, reflections. Look at this shit. Damn! Look, look, it's not in the thing. Oh, imagine a lot. What the fuck? No, shot. I don't have the link. Why is it suppressed? What the fuck? Uh, hold on, chat. Uh, let me show you something, guys. Um, Masonic apron. Ah, uh, fuck. Yeah, look at this one, okay? Because the Freemasons are uh, flat earth, right? They're flat earthers, obviously. They they got billions of dollars. They don't believe in a fucking spinning ball. Your monkey in a spinning ball. Now look at this. Notice what they're showing you, okay? It's the seal of Solomon, the soul of man. Look at the two pillars on the dome. That's your brain. The water's above, right? But now look. What would that be? Your right part of your brain? Solar? Your left? Lunar? Male and female? And the star in the middle, that third eye, that electric pulse that comes from generative principle, meaning your dick. Just like Freud said, everything is about sexuality. It shoots up and deceives you look at that the, the the universe everything evil it's deceive the great deceiver that you can be as powerful as god and you be a star and blah 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 but they're gonna rape you in that coffin That's why they got that coffin there. Who's going to rape you? When you join a Masonic cult, Skull and Bones, um, a lot of people think it's like they just uh, shoot fluids on you. No. Look into Kay Griggs and what she leaked about the military. Here, look at this shit. Mm, Kay Griggs. Wow, she's buried. Look at this. Mm, Boston War. Da, da, da. Oh, fuck. 
I don't know where she talks about it though. Because you, they. Uh, so I'm gonna have the time stamp. It all over the place. He goes from being a Democrat in petty little friends. Let's talk about her gay husband. Uh, look at this. Henry Kissinger was a well-known, um, totally a homosexual, not even both ways. Um, what does that mean? And so oh. his wife is a marriage of uh, Oh, it's just a convenience. Like, you know, I mean, he might, you know, maybe he's discovered women in his late, late age. I don't know. But, um, no, I, I heard through the, the, a very well... Like, is it that shocking of a revelation to just realize Barack Obama was, like, LGBT... president like is it that hard to believe i'm not those guys who think bush is straight <laughs> but i mean that was like openly gay like they had a rainbow house uh, white house and all that it's weird when i was growing up as a kid i was like i don't want to see no rainbow white house i don't want to see no church white house i don't want to see no muslim white house i just want to see a white house and then I grow up and I realize, dude, I was a fucking retard. Right? They, the humanity is beastly. They need the church, bro. You know what I mean? They need this. Uh, I mean, if they don't, they make millions of dollars filming dead bodies in Japan like Logan. Like, that's his career <laughs> kickstart. That's insane. That's got to do something to his psyche. You know, like that's, his soul is definitely going to ponder on that when he's old. You know, when you're old and all you have is your own stories, you better love yourself. Did you ever go over this with chat? I'm not going to lie, dude. I haven't enjoyed chat in so long. Bunch of fucking retards, bro. When I say everything is about sexual energy... They say, dude, that you're reaching. But when Freud says it, they say, oh, no, that's Freud. When I say Carl Jung talks to demons, they go, yo, you're reaching. But when I show a fucking video of Carl Jung saying, oh, yes, they're very real. I talk to demons. Then what the fuck? They just sit there with their finger in their ass. All I said today was it's a psychic initiation of rape through the anus. And if you're Egyptian, there's also flesh eating. You know, skull and bones, masonry, you drink blood out of a human head. And it's just inversion of purity. It's not that hard to believe, right? That's the only way they can do their... I mean, you guys believe in a fucking pope lighting something on fire and whipping it around a few times. Oh yeah, that's fine. That's like a Baptist ritual, whatever the fuck. But you can't believe in the darker side? Are you fucking retarded? And you know what's the craziest thing about all this? The most shocking thing about all this is that when popes do that fucking retard shit, it's all real. It actually works. I had no idea. And one day I was just sitting in my room. I was watching about the pope and I'm like, hey, dad, eat in, trim. Um, I'm kind of confused. Like, um... How did the Pope get that position if he's not royalty? And everyone's like, well, he picked some toys out when he was a, like he was the avatar. I don't know, bro. And I'm like, dude, clearly he's just the, like, he's the best magician in the game. That's why he like signs to be king of the world. Look at this fucking retard in chat. Bro, with this stuff, you're going to lose a lot of people. It, it's like I'm, you can keep having gay sex, bro. I'm just reading the page. Like, you don't have to do all this extra shit, man. So always, it's always like this, bro. When, when I watch a vegan shit talk red meat all day, I never get angry. I go, hmm, well, I like it. But, uh, yeah, I guess you're right about that. And then, you know, 
I just read about this guy saying he's psychically activated when, you know, someone enters their cave of Brahma. And then this guy's like fucking shook, like I'm taking away his fucking boyfriend from him. Bro, you do whatever you want in life, right? Just don't come here and get depressed. Like, that's so... You gotta go, bro. You gotta go. Yo, man, imagine I don't sleep all day. I fuck up with this stream. I was supposed to do something that's... I guess he's banned or whatever. And I'm tired, and I'm like, you know what? Just spew some truth. So at least these guys go to bed not doing anything too satanic tonight. At least these guys, you know, have some voice in their head that's talking to them different than MTV. And and, and it's like the most shit talking I've ever seen from my chat. It's like unreal, dude. It's You're going to go right to hell without like a bit of uncomfortable truth. Is Satan your daddy?